Hello there, this is Kevin from KevinDeRue.com, and today I'm coming to you with the last uh, in a series on Facebook tips and tricks. And not to worry, sometime in the future we will be coming out with more Facebook tips and tricks. We'll call that series maybe Facebook Tips and Tricks Advanced. All right. Um, because Facebook is always changing, so there's always going to be uh, new stuff to learn as far as Facebook goes and as far as Google goes. Uh, those two are always changing, it seems daily. Um, so always more to report on those. So there will be many, many, many more vi videos uh, on my YouTube channel and on my blog in the future with regards to Facebook and, of course, Google as well. Okay, so before we get to today's tip, I wanted to do a quick recap on what we've covered so far. I don't want to take too long, um, so we'll just get started. On, in the first tutorial, we talked about finding friends on Facebook via the Amazon method. This is a great method that we can use to find people with similar interests uh, that we have and that most likely need what we are offering. Okay. So that's that's a great uh, method for finding friends. It's called the Amazon method, and we talked about it as our first Facebook tip. Next, we talked about hiding your friends list, okay? And we talked. We also um, looked at a couple resources for designing your Facebook covers. One of my favorites is one that I just learned uh, not too long ago, thanks to a, an excellent network marketer. Uh, Pamela Herman, who I met at the No Excuses Summit. Just a fantastic resource. It's called Pick Monkey. And um, let's go because I just changed my cover today, actually, to make it a Happy New Year cover. <laughs> so um, basically, before it was just a, a Merry Christmas cover. So I just changed this picture here and kept these ones the same. But it's, it's a fantastic tool that we can use to help design some pretty cool Facebook covers. Um, next we talked about finding outstanding friend requests and we talked about why that is so important. Okay, we talked about, uh, th then we got into Facebook pages. Okay, uh, we talked about your the, the most uh, optimized settings for your Facebook page. We talked about setting up apps for your page, okay? These little tabs here. Um, let's go back to our Facebook page here, back and forth. These are all tabs, these are called tabs. And we set up these tabs with an application called WooBox, okay? Fantastic, easy, free app that you use to set up your Facebook page tabs. Next, we started getting into content. Okay, and we showed you um, some great resources where you could go to get content that you could place on your page. Uh, we talked about an excellent service that um, that you can use to automate or drip feed the content onto your page called Hootsuite. Um, we also talked about making your content sticky using a pin or a highlight uh, function to uh, any particular post that you want to stick to the top of your page. Um, next we talked about another great way to get likes and interaction on your page is to comment on other people's pages and groups. Okay? And today, <laughs> to top everything off, we are going to talk about um, another tab, I guess you could say for your page, um, but this time it's a YouTube tab. And you may have added the um, the YouTube tab via the WooBox application. And if you did, that's great, it works. But this uh, application is much, much better. And I'm going to quickly show you how to get that. So, if you're in your fan page, or your Facebook page, go up here to the search box and you can type in um, YouTube for pages without the squeaky voice. 
Now what you want is you want to pick the right one. It's YouTube for Pages. It's this one right here. I'm not going to click it because I've already installed it. So you just click on that and follow the prompts to install the app. It's going to ask you, you know, to, to allow uh, the app onto your Facebook. It's going to ask you which page you want to put the app on and so forth. Um, once you do that, let's go back. And so this is the page you'll come to. You want to install. It'll ask you those questions. just getting back over to my page and once it's installed you want to take a look at the settings so let me get to that you're going to have a it's going to put a tab right here on your on your page Okay, so I just wanted to quickly show you the settings. Okay, the most important one, of course, is the very top one where it says YouTube username. Make sure you get this right, okay, because this is what YouTube or in Facebook use to pull your feed, okay, to import your feed into Facebook. Okay, so go over to your YouTube channel, make sure that you have the correct username, and put it in there. Import uploads, yes, of course, you want to do that. Um, the next two obviously totally up to you hide related videos I check yes I don't want to promote somebody else's <laughs> videos or business uh, feature video I have latest video and you want to automatically post content to your wall I put yes okay and then save the settings once you do that when all is said and done this is what your page is going to look like so it's very nice, very professional, very clean, and people can go and see all your videos. So there you have it, our last tip and trick for this series on Facebook, Tips and Tricks. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the series. If you have a question with regards to our YouTube uh YouTube app or any of the uh, topics that we discussed through the last 10 days or so, please leave them in the comments below, get in touch with me, and I can answer those for you. I would love to hear how you uh, found the series, if there was, if there is anything else you'd like to know that you, you have a question on, ask away and I will try and get the answer for you if I don't have it already. That's it for now. Um, Thank you for watching this entire series. If you missed any episodes, uh, you can go back on the blog and catch any of the ones that you've missed. All right. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.